Hey problem solvers, here's another problem for you to have a go at. This one says, a square piece of paper is folded over as shown in the diagram. The red square has an area of four, the blue square has an area of nine. What is the area of the green square? Now you may have a guess as to what that area is based on the, you know, the sequence four, nine, what comes next. You might guess what that area is, but you're going to have to prove it and stick around till the end to see if that guess is correct. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to find the side length of the large square. To do that, I'm going to label this length OMA, and I'm going to find all of the other lengths in relation to A. Firstly, this little length from the top of the square to M is A take two, then ON, uh, we can use similar triangles to find that length in terms of A. Let's start by labeling it B. Uh, now looking at this little right triangle here, uh, that's similar to the larger right triangle NOM, and these sides are in the ratio two to A take two. So we can say B to A is in, is in that same ratio, two to A take two. And then we can say B is equal to two A over A take two. Okay, so we have ON in terms of A. Uh, we can also notice that these two right triangles are also similar because these two lines are perpendicular. So these two angles are supplementary and so are these ones. And uh, you know that tells you that all the angles in these right triangles are the same. Uh, their orientation is different though. So if you look at this right triangle, we've rotated at 90 degrees uh, in its orientation. So this length OM is related to this length N to this corner. Okay, uh, so then we can find this length N to the corner. Uh, well, the scale factor, the linear scale factor is two to three. Uh, in other words, we've enlarged this right triangle by a scale factor of 1.5. So this length is going to be three on two times A or three A on two. Okay, next we can notice that this length MN is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. Also, we can find another expression for MN. It's going to be the side length of the square subtract A. So firstly, let's say that MN is the square root of a squared plus 2a over a take 2 all squared. This is Pythagoras' theorem using these two lengths. The sum of these two lengths squared is mn squared. So that gives us one expression for mn. And also we can say mn, uh, because it's the side length, uh, the remaining side length of the square is going to be 2a over a take 2 plus 3a on 2 subtract a. Okay, hope that makes sense. So we have two expressions for mn. This equation actually allows you to solve for a. So let's go ahead and do the algebra. Uh, firstly, uh, you could uh, combine these terms into a single fraction and simplify the numerators. So go ahead and do that. Multiply this by a take two squared. So that becomes a single fraction. And this one here, we're going to multiply two a by two and a by a take two. That becomes a single fraction and keep simplifying. Uh, simplify the numerators, expand and simplify those terms and you'll end up with this. A small note here that a take two squared is equal to two take a squared. So when you take the square root of a take two squared and it becomes a take two, you actually lose a solution um, because a take two is not equal to two take a. Uh, but we don't care about the negative solution to this equation. A is a length in a geometric problem. We don't care about any negative solutions for A. Uh, so that's why it's okay to take that square root and lose that solution. Um, and if you do end up with a negative solution, if you're solving a problem like this, just go back to a step where you uh, take a step like this and swap these around, say, Instead of a take two, you'll have two take a, and then you'll end up with the positive solution. Anyway, that's just a small detail. Keep simplifying this. Multiply by a take two to get rid of these denominators. Multiply by two. And after some more simplifying, you should end up with this equation here. a squared multiplied by three a squared take 20 a plus 28 equals zero. This gives you three solutions for a. a equals two, uh, zero, two, or 14 on three. We can discount zero. Clearly A is not 
you know, A has some length, it's not zero. It's not two because the side length of this square is two. So A is larger than two. So the only valid solution here is 14 on three. So we have a, a solution for A and we can actually go ahead and find, uh, you know, these lengths and find the side length of the square from that. So let's go ahead and fill in those details. So that's 14 on three. Then ON, if you go back and do a little bit of working out, you find that's 3.5 and do a bit more working out and you find the side length of the square is 10.5. Okay, we haven't finished yet. Uh, we still have a bit of a way to go. Next thing I want to do is to find this length from n to the corner of this blue square. Uh, well, you can work out n to the corner. Uh, well, three on two times 14 on three is seven. And then you see that this length will be four. And what do you notice about this right triangle here? This length is three, this is four. We have a three, four, five right triangle. That five is not relating to the edge of the green square. It's the length from N to the corner of the blue square. So we're not quite finished. The next thing I want to do is to find this length up here in the top right corner. Uh, it'll become clear why I want that length in a minute. To find that length, firstly, I want to find this length, this overhanging piece uh, off the edge of the square. To find that length, I'm going to find the length the hypotenuse of this smaller right triangle. Well, firstly, let's just make a note that this right triangle here is similar to all the other right triangles we've seen so far. So this will be a three, four, five right triangle. Uh, so all I need is this length, then I'll know this length over here. Um, but this length in here, well, we know that this edge is three or this leg is three. So the ratio of those two sides of that triangle will be in the ratio four to five. So the unknown length, we can say four to five equals three on X. Um, so this is the X I'm referring to. Three to X will be in the ratio of four to five. Then we can see X is equal to 15 on four. Okay, so that length is 15 on four. This little length PQ is then going to be 10.5 take five, take 15 on four. Again, that's the side length of the square, take these two lengths. Okay, that gives us seven on four. So PQ is seven on four. Then we can find QR using the fact that these two lengths are in the ratio three to four. So QR to seven on four equals four to three. Uh, then solve this for QR, you get QR equal to seven on three. Then notice QR is equal to this length I was looking for. If we folded that piece of paper back, you can clearly see those two lengths are the same. So we have the length we're looking for, which is seven on three. Next, I'm going to draw a line from R to S, a horizontal line, and create a right triangle in here. Uh, and now I want the length SM. I can find SM now because I have this little length. All I need to do is subtract seven on three and 14 on three from 10.5 to get uh, MS. So MS equals 10.5, take seven on three, take 14 on three. That gives us 3.5. Notice that MS is equal to ON. I wondered if there's an easier way to find a connection there. I couldn't see it myself, but maybe there's a faster solution uh, that you could find and point out in the comments. So anyways, I have MS, I have RS, that's just the side length of the square. I want to know the ratio of these two sides. 10.5 to 3.5 is actually equal to three to one. So I know the ratio of the two sides of this right triangle Notice that this right triangle is similar to this little one in here. So I know the side length of the square to this little length is three to one. So these two lengths are in the ratio one to three. So the side length of the square is three parts. This little length is one part of this length MN. This allows us to solve for the side length of the green square uh, by multiplying MN by three on four. So let's go ahead and do that. To finish off, MN is 10.5, take 14 on three. That gives us 35 on six, and then multiply that by three on four, and we get 35 on eight. So the area of the green square is actually 35 on eight all squared. Was your initial guess correct? Maybe you guessed 16, because four, nine, 16 seems like a logical sequence. That's a bit of a tricky one. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.